I am Kate Haley Goldman. I'm the Director of Learning Research and Evaluation at the National Center for Interactive Learning at the Space Science Institute. So we're a group that both designs exhibits and then works on evaluating exhibits for other folks. Um, what we're doing here today is we're working on a multi-touch table. And so multi-touch tables are interesting for, for a variety of reasons. The technology has been around for a little while, but as uh, the, in, the visitors here at Hatfield have told us, very few people have worked on a multi-touch table before. So the interesting thing about it is not just that it's a touch-based system, the way touch screens are, but that the form factor is different. So by being in a table form factor rather than um, vertically against a wall, it encourages hopefully a different type of social interaction. So I'm investigating uh, multi-touch tables in a number of different projects, including a major one for NSF. This is a very small project where we're looking at a number of different interactives on space, weather, and solar systems. And they're two very different interactives. One is fairly linear, and the other is extremely open-ended with no text whatsoever on the page. So both of them are in a formative or late formative stage of evaluation, meaning we've got a product. Um, we're not sure that it's the final product, and we want to put it in front of visitors in order to get their reactions um, to see if they learned anything Thing, and if so, what content that, that was that they were learning. And one of the difficult things here is visitors sometimes in this very open-ended interactive come up with uh, with conclusions that are not actually playing out. So whether or not they didn't observe quite the right way, or they've tried something once and then come to a conclusion about it um, that, that the data wouldn't support if they tried more than once, they sometimes walk away with some very interesting ideas about solar systems and how many suns you can put in a solar system, how those interact. So that, that's interesting both in terms of being able to, to redo the interactive, and it's challenging as a data collector when we've been working with folks here in trying to make sure that you're just collecting the data, that you're treating this as a research project, an evaluation project, rather than trying to educate the public.